Gala Games has officially made the transition to their V2. In this video, I want to talk about some of the things that are still being done. These are all coming from Jason Brink, of course, a.k.a. Bitbender over on Twitter. Their head of blockchain over there has some updates for us. So if you're a Gala Games holder, you're going to want to stick around to the end of this video. I've got a ton of things for you that you need to know as a holder right now. We're taking a look at the price real quick before we dive into some of the technical stuff, some of the specifics here. Uh, Gala still ranked in the top 130 right now, ranked number 129, actually up about 10% right here uh, today. And uh, the volume has picked up significantly, up about um, 171% right now in the last 24 hours. So that's great to see. Market cap sitting just above $230 million. And we've seen here a price fluctuation all the way from just under three cents to about three and a half cents here in the last 24 hours. Now, they have been updating the community through these medium articles. And this one here just came out a day ago. And it says a pledge to our community, ensuring the long term strength of our node network and gaming ecosystem how to light 660 million on fire. So this is talking about burns, of course. So you're going to want to stick around because this is fascinating. This is one of the big reasons why they made the move from V1 to V2. They can have more control in how they do this. So it says from the founding of Gala Games, it was based on a dream that there was a pathway to true ownership and new economic models that were as yet undiscovered. It has taken several years to get to where we are today, but now this move that they made yesterday is huge actually two days ago now gala v2 a pledge to our community a new age for the gala games ecosystem so uh, it says clearly the games in our ecosystem have multiplied from a single farming simulation to dozens of games pushing out play tests and driving the growth of the entire community in addition to this obviously gala games is going mobile right with their acquisition of ember entertainment they not only are going to be a pc gaming company but also a mobile gaming company now, keeping on, we have come so far, but we still have so far to go. Requested by the community, the first thing we're doing is initiating the burns of the gala token. We committed to burning in our 2023 vision paper for the GEMS program to enable mobile expansion and to support the Node ecosystem. Following through on this commitment means that we are committed to burning 2 billion gala over the course of the year, this year. Unfortunately, this wasn't something that could be correctly tracked, on a V1 contract. So in order to accomplish this, they have moved to V2. Initially, today we made four burns. You could see here, gems Q1, Q2, Q3, and Q4, 500 million gala burned in each one of these. This is partly why the gala price is up right now as well. But this is only the beginning of what we have done, it says. On the march for improvements, we also proceeded to burn an additional uh, 3.9 billion gala equivalent to a total revenue to the total revenue in gala we have ever received it may seem that this is an extraordinary act and it is but we believe that it is essential to reassure you our community of our unswerving commitment to our shared cause and the future of our node network so there's one final point which we believe is critical it says to address for the community we're well aware of the spectator of potential exit scams that haunt the blockchain realm we wish to address this concern proactively. The tokens we hold, we have received in ecosystem rewards over the last several years. While, they're, uh, while they have always been tokens we were to use to fund the growth of the ecosystem, we know that many people see them as a fundamental risk to the overall tokenomics of the projects. So with that goal in mind of continuing on uh, their burn uh, initiative, they have initiated a burn of a further 15 billion gala this is what the vast majority of our ecosystem uh, reserves are in while we have a few wallets with general uh, general operational expenses like open c fees etc we now no longer control any appreciable part of the token supply giving people a ton of confidence even more confidence than they already had moving forward our eye is firmly on the future we have established a wallet with 2 billion gala as a strategic reserve which will openly labeled on chain for all to see, which has been openly labeled. This reserve locked behind a multi-sig wallet is a treatment to our long-term commitment to you, our community, and our dedication to supporting the Node network. In closing, we wish to express our gratitude for your ongoing support. We're here for the long haul. We're excited about the future we're building together. I love this uh, because people wanted to see this. It's transparency. 
It's fulfilling the promises through Burns. So this is great to see. Now, transitioning over to the V2, just some things you have to know here. The Gala V2 minting is still continuing. It may take a couple of days. This came out uh, early this morning, uh, early yesterday morning, rather. Don't worry if you don't see them right away. You also may need to add your token contracts, uh, contract if you haven't already. There's the token contract to your wallet to get it to show up correctly. So uh, just make sure that you're doing that correctly. Follow along, Jason, for great updates on Gala. And uh, let me know down below how the V2 process played out for you, whether it was on an exchange or whether it was over on the DeFi side of things. I went ahead and downloaded, put this contract address in, got my V2 tokens over there. No problem whatsoever. I did say I have it on MetaMask. That's what I just decided to use. But uh, some great news on Burns and some great... Uh, news just on the future of the gala games ecosystem i know for me as a big gala games investor this gives me a ton more confidence than i already had in eric Schiermeyer and their team to figure out the world of gaming when it comes to blockchain appreciate you guys as always let me know your, what you're thinking down below we'll see you in the next video